Hello everyone! Welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. So today we're worrying about this screen GUI. Go ahead and go over to the Explorer. We're going to insert a new script into this frame. Alright, in this script, we're going to just do script dot text button dot mouse button one oh not script dot text button script dot parent dot text button keep that in mind script dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click connect function end and you know what we actually forgot a very 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 important part last time so we're going to bring this menu up and we're going to add this in uh, we're going to move this text box up quite a bit for the Y. We're going to move it up to 0.5 here. And we're going to move this text button, text button button, down to 0.8. Oh, not for the X, my bad. This will just be a 0.05. Uh, okay, maybe 0.1. No. Where is this at? <laughs> Okay, it's at 0.05, so how come... I don't know. I don't know anymore. There we go. Alright, and we're going to move it down to 0.8. There we go. Alright, and its X will be 0.9 now. There we go. Alright, and we're going to add another text box to this. We'll just copy and paste it for now. And then move it over. Move the X over to 0.55. There we go. And instead of saying player name in here, it'll be amount to donate. And that's going to be how much they're going to donate to the other player. Alright, so we're going to name this text box to player. And we're going to change this amount to. Right, actually, we'll just leave it amount. There we go. And we can ch change this to be just two to shorten up our lives. Alright, now go back into the script, now that we've got that fixed, and here, there's going to be a lot of checks and balances, and this will be a long tutorial, but it's Monday. Do you guys really want to do anything but sit in front of your computer and be lazy? No, it's Monday. Of course not. Alright, so if script, uh, oh, uh, wait, we're going to make a couple variables here. First variable will be two, and that will be actually uh, two box equals script dot parent dot two, and a mount box will be script dot parent dot amount. There we go. All right. So two will equal two box dot text, and a mount will equal a mount box dot text. But we're also going to change this up a little. We're going to use a function which will change the string into a number value. This function is called toNumber, very appropriately. So all we gotta do is over here, toNumber, and surround amount box text with toNumber. And that should result in giving us a number. It will give us an error if it's not numbers only. Uh, but we're not going to check and balance that just yet. Maybe we will later on in the future. But for now, just hope they don't. And if they do, they can reset to fix this box right now. Um, anyway, so what first thing we're going to do is if game.players find first child 2, then, and not 2 with quotation mark sorry two because two is a variable holding a string and it should be a player's name if it's not then we're not going to continue but if it is then if script dot parent and this is in the we're going to make another variable player all right this is in this all right just go to the explorer I'm not gonna explain this verbally only script dot parent dot parent dot parent so Okay, we're trying to get all the way up to the player. So script dot parent that's one dot parent that's two dot parent that's three, and this will actually be the player GUI when it's in a player uh, when a player sees it. So three, four would be the player himself. Okay, so we need four parents. So back over at the script script 
that parent, that parent, that parent, that parent. There we go. So if player that leader stats that money that value is greater than or equal to because we don't want people to be able to donate money to people for free um, is greater than or equal to amount and amount is greater than zero now I had a big problem with this in my last the latest tycoon crazy lights tycoon you should check it out uh, with the donate button because people were giving themselves a ton of free money just by donating to themselves a negative amount of money or, or not to themselves sorry to another player a negative amount of money which when you go with a negative amount of money it actually subtracts from the other player and adds to your money and we're not going to do that no that's not how this we are not going to allow that that is it's terrible <laughs> I, I hated it all right, so if player that leader sets that money that value is greater than or equal to the amount, and the amount is above zero, then player that leader stats that money that value equals player that leader stats that money that value minus amount, and here's the other thing, um, we're going to make actually we'll change this to two name. All right, two name. And we're actually going to make two equal game that players find, and eh, not find first child, game that players to name. And I keep putting quotation marks, to name. And that's going to give us the actual player. And then, to that leader stats, that money, that value, equals to that leader stats, that money, that value, plus amount. And that's just going to subtract the money from the player donating and add it to the player they're donating to, which is the entire point to this. Alright, so now we're going to hide this frame because it's in our way and annoying. Alright, and now we're just going to press F7, and once it loads, we're going to actually, instead of pressing Alt F7 only once, we're going to press it twice. Reason being, we need two players to double check this m donate value. Alright, it loaded, now we can get our players. Now, one player will actually get a tycoon, the other will not get a tycoon. Alright, the player is loaded, so we'll get this this player to go ahead and grab his own tycoon. Grab this trapper. Walk over here. Boom. 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 Alright, we'll just take 50. Then we'll go buy our upgrade, we'll buy our walls, because typically players aren't going to donate to each other until after they think they have enough money and they've bought everything. So now we can donate, and we see that player's name is Player2, so we'll type that in, and we'll donate all of our money, all 30 of it. Click to donate. There we go. You can see up at the top, Player2 now has that money. So we are now charitable people because we just give our money away after we're done using it. We are future Bill Gates peoples. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.